all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in this tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to achieve your eye low dress okay now the first thing is what do you understand by eye low so eye low simply means that your front is usually shorter than your back and for your back block you have like a longer length for your back block so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your eye low dress flay dress so you have your waist measurements hip and your length so looking at these measurements now looking at these measurements now the length starts from our shoulder measurement to our desired length which is the back block okay so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement so our waist measurement is 32 32 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 inches our hip is 40 40 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12 inches now our length is 60 inches and i said earlier 60 inches is from your shoulder measurement to your desired length so the first thing you are going to do now is to deduct your half length now why are we going to deduct our half length we are basically going to deduct the half length because that is where you are going to have your infinite wrap that will make this a dress if you want me to make like a detailed tutorial on how to achieve the skirt version of this style please go ahead and put that down in the comment section and i'm going to make another tutorial on how to achieve high low flay skirt okay let me know in the comment section if you're interested in watching that so now you go ahead and deduct your half length which is your shoulder to one inch above your navel button which will serve as your half length now in order for you to know that what measurement should you use for your half length i have a detailed tutorial on size chart i'm going to go ahead and link the video here and also you can also purchase our ready to wear size chart which is available and just go ahead and send us a message check out the description box below and we'll get it delivered to you so let's go ahead now and calculate our length so 60 inches 60 my our half length now we have 16 inches our half length is 16 inches so we are going to go ahead now and deduct 60 minus 16 we have 44 inches this 16 inches is our half length now our half length is 16 inches plus one inch for our sewing allowance we have 17 inches now for this you're also going to have a band the reason why you need a band is because your band is going to attach the upper part of your dress to your flip part and also note that the wideness of your band totally depends on you so you can decide that you want your band to be two inches high three inches high four inches it all depends on you at this point now go ahead and deduct the number of inches you want for your band so my band now i'm going to make use of two inches for my band now our length is 44 inches so 44 minus two inches we are going to have 42 inches this two inches here is for our band now our band is two inches plus one inch sewing allowance we have three inches so what do we have for our length now we have 42 inches for our length so 42 plus two inches sewing allowance we have 44 inches it simply means that we have 44 inches for the length two inches for our band plus one inch sewing allowance we have three inches and our half length we have 17 inches now this this 44 inches we have here is going to serve as the back block because what we want to achieve is high low flay dress and this simply means that the back block is usually longer than the front block so go ahead and determine how many inches do you want your front block to be what difference do you want between your front block and your back block that totally depends on you but also bear in mind that the front block is usually shorter than the back block so we've gone ahead now to arrive at our back block which is 44 inches now the front block now you can decide that you want your front block to stop somewhere around your waist 17 inches 18 inches 20 inches it all depends on the number of inches you want for your front block so for me now i'm going to go ahead with 17 inches so now my front block now i'm going to have 17 plus one inch strain allowance i'm going to have 18 inches now if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or you have any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up 
like share and subscribe join us for trainings trainings are available both online training and physical training all the details are going to be in the description box below now another thing you also need to take note of is that this form of eye load dress we also have our pleating which is going to be attached to the lower part of the dress so the next thing you are going to do now is to determine how many inches do you want for your pleats and how many inches do you guys another thing you also need to take note of is the number of inches you want for your pleats at this point go ahead and determine how many inches do you want for your pleats and how many inches do you want for your basic dress so for me now i'm going to make use of five inches for my pleating and note that this is optional now you can make it of six inches seven you can even reduce the, the number of your pleats to four inches three inches it all depends on how you want to achieve you know your own high low dress at this point now this is where your creativity comes into play so i'm going to have five inches for my pleats i'm just going to jot this down so that because when we are cutting this so that when we get to the cutting part of this tutorial you guys are going to understand where i came across the five inches so my pleats now is five inches my pleats now i'm going ahead with five inches so for the basic dress when i want to cut out my flay when i want to cut out my flay i'm going to deduct these five inches from my front block now we agreed that the total front block is 18 inches but then again we have our pleats attached to it so if our pleats is five inches all you have to do now is 18 inches which is your front length minus five inches which is your place we are going to have 13 inches so when i'm cutting out my flay my flay is going to be 13 inches and by the time i add my pleating of five inches i'm still going to have the full 18 inches for my front block right so when you want to cut out your pleating now we have five inches for the pleating go ahead and add two inches to it the two inches is going to serve as your folding allowance because they're going to fold your pleats before you stitch it on your main flay. So now the front block now, our basic front block, when you want to cut out the flay, we are going to make it of 18 inches. And by the time you add 5 inches for your pleating, you will have your complete front block. So likewise also for our back block, the length of our back block is what? 44 inches you also deduct five inches this is your what your pleating you are going to have 40 so now you also deduct five inches which is your pleats you are going to have 39 inches so when you are cutting out your front your back block the length is going to be 39 inches by the time you add your five inches please you are going to have your complete 44 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your eye low dress let me know if you have any question in the comment section and don't forget to join us on instagram tg designs and on facebook tg designs we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial basically with this style you can make it of any fabric of your choice your african prints your crepe your chiffon this style is what you can basically use any fabric to achieve and the amount of fabric i use to achieve this is six yards of african print so go ahead and calculate yours depend on the amount of fabric you are also working with and also it also depends on your size so let's go ahead now and cut out our fabric hi guys so now we want to cut out eye low dress so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut out the back block and i'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric in a triangular shape this way and i'm going to cut out the back block so your waist divided by four now i'm going to go ahead now and place my tape measure where i have eight inches just go ahead and mark the points where you have your waist measurement so what you are going to do now is place your tape measure at this point and mark check out what you have i have 10 inches take it this way mark 10 inches once you are done you connect the lines together so once you connect the line you know this curve now is going to give you your waist measurements you can if you want it to have excess but eventually you want to pleat on your band you can just you know cut more than your waist measurements it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so for this folded part now of my fabric i'm going to measure my length and of course because this is actually very very long 
it has to be long that's the beauty of the eye low train dress it has to be long so go ahead now and place your tape measure this way from this point check out what you have for the length so i have about 35 inches once you are done you place your tape measure at the edge so that you can have like your equal length so now once i place it at the edge i'm going to have 45 inches i'm going to have 45 inches so 45 inches now i've marked it i will also move it to the midpoint i'll also move it to the middle point mark 45 inches mark 45 inches move it also to the edge and mark what i have so basically you just want to mark out your length you know across the whole back so once you are done you connect the lines together you're going to have your curve this way as you can see this is what your length looks like all the way so i'll go ahead now and cut out this point and also cut out this edge i want to cut out the front block so in order for your train to be very full because that's the beauty of this style for the front block i'm going to fold my fabric in a square shape you can see fold your fabric into two once you are done you flip it over again and fold your fabric into four just like the way you cut out your full play dress so fold your fabric now into four so that i can add more effect to it so this is what i have what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead now and mark my waist measurements going to go ahead now and mark my waist measurement so we also have eight inches at this point we also have eight inches i will go ahead and place my tape measure where i can have eight inch and mark that point now you put your tape measure this way we have five take it to this other part five once you are done you connect the curve together so from this edge now you are going to determine the length you are going to determine the length and because you are still going to attach your pleating to this so your length is going to be short now for me now i'm going to make use of 10 to 12 inches you can increase yours you can reduce it it all depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so i'm going to make use of 12 inches now i place my tape measure at this part to mark my length i'm going to take it across i'm going to take my tape measure now to this edge i'm going to take my tape measure to this edge and check out what i have i have 18 inches i'll bring it so guys the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark my length so my full length now is 17 inches now because this is also going to have pleating you are going to determine the number of inches you are going to use for your pleating and then you deduct it from the dress right so if your full length for your front block is 17 inches and let's say that you want your pleating to be 5 inches you are going to deduct 5 inches from it so you have 12 inches so 12 inches will be for the flay why 5 inches will be for the pleating so you are also going to consider that so for me now i'm going to mark 11 inches i place my tape measure at this part and i have 11 inches so for me to get the full length i'm going to move my tape measure to this edge check out what i have i have 16 and half bring it this way mark 16 and half bring it this way and mark 16 and half once i'm done i'll just connect all the curve together i'm going to have like a round curve at the end of the day so i'll go ahead now and cut this out and also cut out this part so guys after that this is what i have i'm gonna have to open one part of it so this is what it's going to look like this is what it's going to look like so i'm going to place it on the band so that it can be full and give it that oh god you guys can you see the beauty can you see the beauty even without doing anything can you see how it stands and the beauty is out already so now let's so guys now i want to cut out the band 
because we are going to be pleating those flay on this band and this band is going to serve as our waist of course so you fold your fabric into two which is my band now the wideness of your band totally depends on you so you can make yours to be five inches wide you can make yours to be four inches it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so for me now on a single fold this way i have seven inches so once i fold this into two i'm going to have about three inches so i'll stitch half inch i'm going to have two and half inches for the band at the end of the day but you can increase yours now for the length of the band the length of the band is basically your waist measurements plus two inches so the two inches will serve as your zip allowance so my waist is 32 i have about 34 inches for the band so i also go ahead and iron my paper stay to the band just to give it like a form of structure and it can stand well so your band should be your waist measurements plus two and the wideness of the band depends on how big you want it to be so for me now i have six inches on a single fold while on a double fold this way i'm going to have three inches see now the next thing we are going to cut out now is your stripes which we are going to use to wrap across our body now for the wideness of my strap i have 14 inches because i'm going to fold about two inches one inch on this edge one inch on the other end and once i'm done i will have 12 inches for my final you know my final measurement so i have two pieces for this one piece for your right hand and the other piece for your left hand now the length of these stripes the length of this stripe is determines or depends on you but note that the longer the strap the more you have enough fabric to wrap across your body because you are going to style this with this wrap so your wrap should be long enough to give you so many styles okay so for me now i have about 60 inches so i folded it into two this way i have 30 inches so it means i have 60 inches length that is a whole lot for me but you can increase yours okay basically for this wrap please make sure it's long enough to wrap across your body to give you different styles so for the length now i have 60 inches by 14 for one piece and for this other piece also i also have 60 inches by 14 so i'll go ahead now and set this aside see we want to cut out now is the ink what we are going to use for the piece don't forget that when we're cutting out the flay for the front block i said if your total front block is 17 inches and you want your pleats to be five inches deduct the 17 inches from your five inches and that was i arrived at 12 inches for the flay so that inches now which is five inches for your pleats go ahead and add your sewing allowance to it so for me i added two inches for my sewing allowance I have seven inches for the wideness however it all depends on you can decide that you want your pleating to be longer or you want it to be shorter you know it depends on you so for me now I have seven inches now for the length of this fabric because you are going to pleat it round the whole flay, please use as many fabric as possible because you are basically going to pleat it. So you can decide that, oh, you want yours to be very tiny pleats or you want it to be bold. So it depends. So I'm going to say that for the length of this pleating, it depends on, you know, the number of inches the number of fabric you are working with and also the kind of place you want to have because this is going to pleats round that flay and you know the flay is very full so just cut out the amount of fabric that can pleat round the flay so i have enough fabric here with me you can see it's so much so guys now we want to just couple this up so basically you know this is your front block and this is your back block so just go ahead now and attach both pieces together once you attach both pieces together so that you can have a single piece this is what the band looks like i've gone ahead to iron paper stay to the band just to give a you know dress form of structure so the next thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and attach this by the time you couple this up you're going to have one continuous um waist so this is the length of your waist 
so guys this is the front block you can see what it looks like i've gone ahead to attach this to the band and even without saying so much you can already see the flow of the skirt already you can see the flow of the flay already you can see how cute it is this is what i have now for the back block also i've also gone ahead to attach the back block to the band and by the time you place both sides on each other you can see that this is where your front block ends and you have a very long back block so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and take our stripes so join one side together right so that you can have like a continuous form of dress at the lower side so take so take your stripes now right is it stripes we called it i think we called it pleating or something i can't remember what we called this but anyways take the extra piece don't forget that we deducted you know for the length we wanted the length to be 17 inches but we deducted the inches we are going to use for the pleats all you have to do now is to go ahead and pleat this so i'm going to link the tutorial on how to make use of goddess foot here somewhere on the screen yeah please go ahead and watch that so you're basically going to pleat round this part so yeah, starting from the front block you are going to pleat you are going to pleat it all the way to the back block and you continue pleating till you are done and it will end at this part also so for your pleat now you can decide that you want to make use of tiny pleating let me show you guys at this point now it all depends on you right you can decide that you want yours to be very tiny right you want it to be like a tiny plate or gathers or you want your plate to be very big it depends on you so at this point now just go ahead and plate this and then i'll show you guys what it looks like <laughs> guys can you guys see what i am saying can you guys view the beauty okay this is beauty <laughs> this is so cute guys this is so cute like i am not even exaggerating this is so cute look at how it stands so i've gone ahead to you know add my pleats in to the lower side you can see how gosh you can see how cute it is look at how it's standing look at the wave this is what they call let me see you the booga Lo, 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 lo. let me see you lo, 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 lo. <laughs> guys look at how i'm gonna take off this look at how it stands so this is the back block and this is the front block you can see we've gone ahead to you know pleat it all the way so the next thing we are basically going to do now is we are going to go ahead and attach this part together so you want to couple this up go ahead and fix in your zipper after fixing in your zipper you go ahead and stitch this to give you a complete piece so guys you can see how beautiful it is look at it so now we are going to take your infinite wrap we are almost done take your infinite wrap and stitch it on the front band so take that if you want it to be a gown you go ahead and attach this infinite wrap but if you want to rock it as a skirt so this is what it looks like once you are done you know joining your zip and all of that but if you want to rock this as a gown go ahead and take your infinite wrap and attach it to your front piece take the second piece of your infinite wrap and also attach it to the front piece so once you are done you can see once i'm done i'll show you guys what it looks like let me see you there we got let me see you go lo, lo, lo. let me see you go lo, lo, lo. We go. <laughs> so guys i've gone ahead now to attach the stripes on the band and this is what it looks like this is a beauty okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video bye